In the bottom right, our Terran player who claims to have an unbeatable strategy on this map. Tenex. Just rub, rub, rub. Rub that hand rub all over your hands. That hand pack, it's a hot pack, keeps his hands warm. Over here, one of the youngest players, if not the youngest player here in the GSL. Also one of the best Zerks out there. Lino for you. Is he actually our youngest player? I believe he is. Uh, since since uh, Maru is no longer... As far as goes, yeah. yeah, I would definitely say so. Kode, I'm not as sure. Yeah, I'm not 100% about that, but I believe... I, I believe in Kodes, yeah, he was the youngest one to make it in. That's got to be tough, being that age. And it having is. to play in the GSL and go to school. I know. It's, uh, I mean, at that age, I, I was know, just like, high school, who man? am I going to take to prom? What if Samantha Susie B doesn't take me? Oh, and yeah. now this guy's like, how am I going to stop the unbeatable strategy here of this Terran player? Wow. Wow. In high school, taste all I was doing is, wow, I can't wait to get home and play more WG Tour. I remember being like, I'm going to sign up for computer classes so I can sleep or watch uh, internet stuff <laughs> <laughs> until I can go home and play StarCraft. Uh, um, life gets better when you're out of high school, you know? It actually does. It actually does. Um... Hatchery here for our Zerg player. Yeah, and uh, looks like our Terran's gonna fast expand. Yeah, Bion is walling and he is getting gas as well. I would very much expect a Reaper build here. He seems to uh, have a proclivity, if I could use a tasteless word, to go Reaper. That's a good Zerg. word, Artosis. You yeah. know, you could say sometimes he likes to do that, but you don't have any ten dollar words in there. You put proclivity in there, and you sound smart. You sound sophisticated. That's not even ten dollars. That's a twelve fifty word right there. Twelve fifty. Maybe on sale at the Tasteless 90, store it's $10, but in Artosis store, Artosis Mart, it's a twelve fifty dollars <laughs> The Artosis Mart. All right, he is uh, again going to get the Tech Lab. And Makes uh, those Reapers. Well, you know, it's funny because we don't we didn't see Reapers that much when they were nerfed somewhat. Yeah. I wouldn't even say they were nerfed, it's just you can't get them as soon. Uh, that do as and much all, with them than, also, than, than of course, the, the, speed, the upgrade. speed upgrade. Yeah. So people sort of stopped using them, but I think they're still great units, and Zach's oh, yeah. has shown us why. You can scout with them, and frankly, I think as the game uh, continues to progress, as far as metagame, um, and the competitive scene develops more out here, I think we're going to see Reaper uh, usage up yeah. more often. I agree. Do you agree? I agree with you, Tasis. Okay. We shake on that, Artosis? I never shake. You never shake? On a first agreement. On a first agreement. <laughs> Uh, command Center should come up next. Now, when he has a Reaper out, he can scout and he can hold off Zerglings. You can kill Infinity Zerglings with a Reaper if you control it right. <laughs> Assuming those Zerglings don't have speed. Yeah. Of course, when they have speed, you can kill maybe one or two. You can <laughs> kill one before the Reaper dies. That's right. Oh, Tasis Cheapers, Creepers, here come the Reapers. Going after the drone, he becomes a extractor to stop his death. It's very smart of him. Yeah, that was I'd smart for him to make it. I'd extractor. rather be an extractor than be dead tasteless. Yeah, even though being an extractor kind of sucks. Yeah, because it's not you the have best you thing. have no privacy. None at all. As an extractor. Um factory on the way. This Reaper not doing a whole lot, but then again it is sort of here to scout more so and it gets yeah. to stopping. He doesn't actually need to get a lot of kills, you know. He already has two kills. That's that's decent. You know, he's he getting a lot of scouting, making Lenox sit there and be like, ah. Uh, well, you know he's also doing, he's parked in between the two mains, so he can't transfer drones. That's quite true as well. And another thing, if Lenok wanted oh, to, look at this. Uh, Wait, hold, hold that thought, Artos. I want to point this out. That SCV is intentionally put there, so if you were going to spot it, you'd only see it on the mini map. Wow, that's cool. You or you <laughs> if you or if you actually if you scroll all the way to the left side of the screen, you can get a peek at it. Yeah. I, now I think it wasn't intentionally hiding outside the Terran base, so I think that was a mistake. But oh, that is yeah, he's definitely setting something it back you now. could do. He's setting the SCV back up. Definitely something I'm like that could happen. I'm giving him way too much credit. I'm like, he's so good. Like He's hiding the SCV out his, outside his own base. <laughs> it's very sneaky. The Zerg would the never look there. Never and even if he did, he'd never see it. Is Whoa. that Reaper Speed? That's Reaper Whoa. Speed. I, was, I almost said, because I've said this a few times, I feel like I would not be surprised if we ever saw another Reaper Speed build come in. No one believes me right now, but I almost said it. Oh, my God. We are actually going to see Reaper Speed. And this must Reaper be, speed. perhaps, the strat he says is unbeatable. No, this is not it, actually. The, uh, well, unless this is a new one. This is definitely a new one. I mean, he clearly was confident, man. Yeah, he's, he's somewhat confident. He's going to go for a Reaper build, and... 
I mean, the timing is going to come before mutas, which is what Zergs do. So, this is actually amazing to me, Tasteless. I'm so happy in such a good mood that we are going to see a Reaper build. It's nice to see somebody mixing it up here. You can see the patrolling marine that will drive out the Overlord. Hopefully the Overlord, uh, you know, for our sake, I want to see the strategy work out. The Overlord does not end up spotting the strategy. Let's see yeah. if Leenok Boyu is going to be caught off guard. Thing is, he's going to get siege tanks with it too. So he could do a push of some sort. I think the siege tanks are going to be defensive purpose right we'll, now. We'll see. I'm, I'm, yeah. I think it could be a push, but I'm not sure. Reaper siege tank would be an interesting push. I mean, we've never seen that before. Oh, no. Now you did see the, the Reapers. And there they go. And Leenok is having flashbacks to the beta right now. It's like, oh, I can't live. And then he realizes that it's very much later in the game. And these are about now, to jump up to into Zerglings. This is not going to be good for you, sir. Whoa! And, and uh, they're going to have to find a new angle to attack from yeah. here. Yun is going to have to be a little bit careful here. Those guys are fast. There are a ton of Zerglings out there, Tasteless. These Reapers, I don't think, going to do anything this time. But props to Yun for going Speed Reapers. They, they're actually just patrolling the map looking for hatcheries right now. That's cool. It's pretty smart. Well, you know, some Zergs do uh, double expand. Yeah. And this would absolutely destroy that. But, uh, Leenok, Bo, you're going to stay on two base. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reapers. Uh, I don't even think these Reapers are aware of how much danger they're in right now. No. Reapers are pretty fearless. You have to find the most fearless pilots to become Reapers. Yeah. Oops. And only three Reapers remain, Tasteless. Hatchery now on the way. If he spots that hatchery soon enough, he can just target fire it. Reapers do a ton of damage to buildings. Yep. It's very true. Make it cancel extremely quickly. And in fact, that may happen now, Tasteless. Here, come Here the they speed go. Reapers. Oh, oh. A lot he of almost got cut there. off there. Wanting every little hit he can get. Two very red Reapers and a yellow Reaper. Red and yellow, two very nice colors. Yeah, they're great colors. Catch Not up and for mustard. Your units in this game, though. No. Well, it looks like he's going to transition into basically what his build is. You know, he's throwing up. He has some factories up. He's throwing up a bunch of barracks all at once. So he's basically going to transition into that build. Now, Lino, just a different opening. Yeah, now Lino Foyu has to um, hold off a potential push into the main, um, which we've seen very often here on this map, in this matchup, uh, in these locations. Yeah. I, I would love to point out, Tasteless, if I could, you could uh, a couple you things that I've been saying as we watch more and more ZVTs on this map. Things that you want to do on this map. Put your tech at your natural, put your layer at your natural. Leenok has done both. He's a That's smart a guy. correct way to prepare for something like this. Oh, the Reapers have been spotted. Nice splitting them up, but it did not work. You know, I said it was nice. It wasn't that nice. It would have been if they had one of them and lived. No, uh, Leenok Bo is doing the same thing Idra did, which is tear down the rocks back there to kind of see if they can catch a Terran off guard mm. and attack him as he's going to push across that area. Leenok not being able to do too much damage with these mutas yet. Um, so we're waiting here. The two base timing push is going to come from the Terran pretty soon. And you can see, actually, it's almost yeah. a giveaway there that he put the command center there. <laughs> I wonder if you're planning to go down there as he's killing the rocks and making command center next to it. Uh, Bro on the way, as well as a Baneling Nest. It's going to be a Oh, he can lay a great Baneling trap here. Problem is that Baneling Nest's not even done yet. No, oh, he needs to get these Banelings up fast if he's going to lay a Baneling trap. There's no more time, Artosis. Uh, Leenok actually just canceling Burrow and okay. going for a Hive instead, as well as an Infester. Um, this could be scary, Tasteless. Yeah, I'm gonna look. Forget it. I know it's scary already. I'm terrified. Uh, that's a lot of siege tanks back here. I have a couple of Thors, so this mute is gonna have a hard time. And of course, plenty of Marines. I love how I put the creep tumor over there. That way, Terran can't just make turrets. Can't just land the command center. He's gonna have to scan or make a Raven. Oh, and Leenok deciding I don't know if he his should do time. This. I think he wants to get a fungal off on those Marines. Yet he doesn't have the energy for it. So he throws down Whoa, a couple of Whoa, that was a Terrans. bad attack. That was... That was a bad... He should, even if he had the um, fungal off... Well, if he had the fungal I off... I think he, he might have... No, I don't... I actually, I'm mm. not entirely sure. He may have killed all the Marines off. 
But, I mean, but there's more. Mar yeah, there's the amount of Marines enough. this guy is producing. Vion actually has four reactor barracks and two tech lab barracks. That is almost as many Marines per second oh, as damage stim. per second that they deal. Nice going in between the minerals, but it still managed to lose those units. I can't emphasize enough how awesome it is that um, Lenok Po, you put the creep tumor there. Even though the creep tumor's gone, and by there I mean at the location this, the Zerg would like to expand it. The Terran would like to expand it, excuse me. Well, Lenok right now is getting a greater spire, and well, as we see there, Vion knows that at least a hive is being made, so he might get prepared pretty quickly here. Oh, by the way, guys, Lords. guys, send in questions. It looks like um, it could be a Terran win here. We're going to see if he can push into the main and then the natural and take out the tech tree. But um, send in questions for both of these guys so we can pick them out on the GoMTV.net forums. Tasteless, we're going to have a counterattack, and this is exactly the type of thing you need to do against this. Very nice. Only one Marine in there. Yeah, that's not going to do a lot. As a, as a deterrent. Now, Yun has to turn around and come out. He should go for the command center back in. He even stimmed to go out there, and he may, in fact, get it, Tasteless. If he loses the orbital, that would be huge. And it looks like he's going to. Very nice. And away goes Lenok. Bion suddenly down to one base, the second one about to go up. And Lenok expanding a little bit more right now around the map, as you see on the minimap. Now, remember, um, Terran doesn't need to destroy every base the Zerg has. He just has to take out the primary tech tree of the Zerg by killing the Hive and the other buildings that you need to get a layer in a Hive with. Tastes. So Terran's going to insta-push. Lenok is countering with some Zerglings right now, but uh, we'll have to see if he has what it takes to stop that push, Tasteless. It's coming very quickly, and he has some Broodlords, which are obviously going to help quite a bit. Has to unsiege his tanks, and Beyond having a, some trouble here, Tasteless. He's stimmed those Marines a lot. He can hardly stim them anymore, in fact. Yeah, they're almost dead. They're almost going to be in rehab. They've been stimmed so many times. You know, those two Vikings making a huge difference. In come the Mutalist, using some and Marines to really weaken those Marines as well. You know what, actually? Uh, with the Thors in the background, I don't know if he can stop this. Oh, man. Very close by Lenox stopping that. He has killed off basically all the Marines. And... Right now, Tasteless, four Ultras are being made. This is a purely mech army at this point, but more and more Marines do rally in as he has huge Marine production at the moment. Uh, he is going to lose his hatch. Remember, though, that's not the layer or, or the hive. He needs to push that location. We just got a shot of over there. He's going to lose his spawning pool, though. These are all Ultras in these eggs. He's going to have to be very careful. You do not want to engage Marines with those. Queen going down, eggs oh, under attack. Oh my an god! Ultra egg being taken out. I think it might, a second ultra egg might be taken out as well. Yeah. He scans to check the vein links. He has no idea that those are actually ultras. Yeah, no idea whatsoever. It's too bad, man. Four ultras could be helping quite a bit right here. And how did the ultra fit in the egg? I don't want to know. That is like the biggest clown car scenario ever. It probably had to lay down while its friend zipped the egg up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Ultras trying to get out of there. They realize they are nothing but dead if they stay. Now, if he can get the siege tanks over to where the Hive is, that is going to put uh, Lenok Poyu back in the Stone Age as far as um, the tech goes. He's going to be forced to use the, uh, the, you know, just, I would say, Mutalisks. Actually, no, I can't even say the that. The Spire would be gone, too. Zerg is going to counterattack here. Now, I... I like the counterattack, Tasteless. This is going to make, uh, you know, Byung at least consider turning around. You know, Byung is barely alive economically. Yeah. But he is pushing uh, a very critical location. Leaving the Banelings to kill some Marines off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The uh -oh. Marines are back. And they're angry, Tasteless. Get out of our base! Get out my house. Lenok, though, he does have three fully mining bases. Thing is, right, did he remake, will he remake his uh, tech structures in time? Now the Hive is almost gone. Goodbye, Hive. Goodbye, Hive. Now, uh, Artosis, if you don't mind, just check around the map. I, I want to see, is he remade his other tech? He, his he's made cavern. his spawning pool and his ultra cavern somewhere else. So Ultralis could still be in the game. We don't and see And Aspire, he's spire. started. He's starting to remake it. All right, so. So, and he's, he's also spread the tech to each different base. So if he loses one, he could still uh, make use of the other ones. Meanwhile, we have a push. Uh, coming here from the Terran in the middle of the map. 
The Greater Spire is going to go down, though. So remember, no more Brood Lords. So he's going to attack into here. These Zerglings are going to have to do some significant damage to all those Marines. M making the Thor tank the damage a smart move. And the Ultras wanting to run away. Xenix beyond is damn good, man. Yeah, he's now I think a he's fearsome gonna, guy. He's going to reunite here in the center of the map with his but entire army. Bion only has one base right now, Tasteless. Supply-wise, 125 for Lenok, 120 for and Bion. That one base he has is uh, still got a lot of minerals at it. Nice fungal growth there, not letting him micro those tanks away. The Ultras will take them out very quickly. That's going to leave almost only damaged Marines, one damaged Siege Tank as well. He does kill off an Infester. Moving up now. He's going to take out these Banelings with ease. Right now for units, Lenok has one Zergling, three Ultras, and a Baneling. The Ultras coming down. Here come some Zerglings as well as they do hatch out. Goodbye, Siege Shank. Only a few Marines left. Uh, Is Beyond's unbeatable strategy being beaten, Tasteless? It could be. Now, no, Zerg is on three base with Aspire. Uh, an Ultimus Cavern and a Spawning Pool. Those are the only units he can make. I don't know if he can really afford to get a layer. Right now we're going to see. Yeah, I don't um, think he can. One base under attack. Um, well, I spoke too soon. One base being rescued here by Lenok Foyum. Strong drop coming out. Now, Zerg, um, is, you can see he's desperately trying to mine gas everywhere. Viking could um, supply block uh, our Zerg player temporarily here. Yeah, he really doesn't have anything that hits air. He just has a couple queens, and that is it. Now he's going to split this up. He knows that Lenok Foyu's army is pretty small. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, very nice. going to drop right on top of where the Banelings uh, nest is. This is smart. He, he should really get that Spire if he can. Some good multi prong harassment here. Now, I, I, I don't know if he's going to go for the drones. I really, to be totally honest, he should be going for that Spire. Is there? Any, there's no other layer. Is there Artosis? No, there's no, there's layer, no layer whatsoever. So he takes that out. Looks is like Lenok is just focusing on Ultras right now. Look at those Ultras. They're so fearsome. <laughs> they are fearsome. Look at them. And he takes out the expansion. Very Beautiful. nice. Beautiful. By Bion to and take that the out. Little, the little baby broodlings. Thing is, Bion's supply is dropping. Taste of 75 against 104 from Lenok. Well, this is a very... Right now for income, they're looking like they're both on about one base of income. We have Bion at 700. And 1,000 for Lenok. Now, a uh, pretty crazy game. Yon is macro, but pretty tough looking army, but these are six Ultralisks. Yeah, Ultras are pretty good. You got to target them down with Marines. We will see, though. Here we go. By the way, 10 Mutalisks being made right now by uh, Lenok. Very good choice. It's too bad uh, he did not take out that Spire. Yeah. I really, I know he lost the expansion, but I think actually taking out the Spire is more important because you, you get That's more priority very in the uh, by the way, those Marines have been stimmed. They tried to chase down those Ultras, as we just saw, and that is not a good thing. Now, I don't he has know if, no medevacs. I don't know if pushing in this area is actually the best idea. I think he's trying to set up a strong location, guard those sea tanks with the Marines, let them deal the damage. The Zerg needs to get a third base, but remember, Terran needs to get a second Zerg base. Zerg needs to ignore this base, Tasteless. Yeah, this, this is like base actually not a good is place not worth to fighting take. over against that entrenched Terran. Uh-uh. Uh, look, transfusion being used here on the Ultras. Ah, I feel so good. Now he needs to get out of here. He needs to get out of here fast. That's our army's too quick, or too strong. You yeah. can see he sieges up. He's not entirely sure um, if he can engage it or not. But I think there's no way that Terran can hold the Zerg army. Yeah. We could go to a third game here. This is Lenok has gained a pretty sizable supply advantage. And here he goes. Those Banelings are going to be crucial. But they are stuck behind the Ultras and never going to do anything. He oh. really hold. Nope. Lenok busting through and GG. GG. Damn. Beyond loses game two. In the in locations that we normally see Zerg lose. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would love to point out is he added in that three barracks Reaper rush. And that did nothing. That did nothing. It really did nothing. So it was kind of a waste. Now, if you had sped up his normal build order by that much time, would Lenok have won? I, I am know. not sure of that at all, Tasteless. Yeah, um, it was actually a very good game. Now, a few things I want to point out. Um, Terran did a great job pushing the main. That's what you want to do if you're Terran on that map in those locations. Push the main. Yeah. Uh, I think the Reaper strategy would have worked had Zerg taken a third base too soon. 
Like as you know, as the layer was morphing. Yeah. He expands again. Then the Reapers are going to win. But also note, um, he should have killed the Spire in that end game situation. That's that's quite true. If uh, he shot down the Spire, he could have used Metavax to continuously fly around the map. The only thing the Zerg can really do is use Queens. It's hard uh, to use them as anti-air. It's it's yeah. hard to spread creep in a situation like that. It's yeah. very stressful. It's very high APM and very twitchy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I mean, the Mutas definitely helped out there at the end. They were a good unit to throw into the mix. Well, then Terran wouldn't have had to just push. Mm. When Mutalisks are on the map, flying a medevac out is so risky. Yeah. And if you can win with standard play, you might as well just play standard. Um, but let's go to game number three here. This is the GSL. GSL. 